Hi, I'm Lalit Pano and I'll be presenting on sensitivity in translation averaging. Translation averaging is a problem of solving for absolute translations given pairwise relative translation directions. It can be used for solving camera translation in global structure for motion pipelines in 3D computer vision. The problem can be represented as a network where each node represents absolute translations and each edge represents relative direction between the nodes. Here, all the directions are in the same coordinate frame and they are said to be consistent with their exist absolute translations such that the consistency equation is satisfied for all the directions. Given the nature of the input and output, the solution is defined only up to a global scale and a choice of origin. Here are the main considerations for translation averaging. The first is parallel rigidity that deals with the uniqueness of the solution. The second is outlier detection or suppression that deals with gross errors in the input directions. And we deal with sensitivity where we check for changes in output with small perturbations in input directions. Here we provide a simple example where we want to estimate three nodes given three directions. If the angle between the directions is sufficiently large, we see that small perturbations in the input leads to small perturbation in the output. But if the angle between the directions are small, small perturbations in the input leads to large perturbations in the output. This can now be formalized with this formulation where we consider a smallest possible bearing based network it consists of three nodes and all three possible edges. The least squares problem to estimate the scales is given like this, whose solution is the eigenvector corresponding to the smallest eigenvalue of V transpose V, where V consists of columns stacked with directions. Given this formulation, this theorem suggests that the changes in the eigenvalue is inversely proportional to the square of the sine of the angles between the directions, which simplifies to inverse proportionality of sine of angle between the directions if the perturbed directions are consistent. This shows that if the angles between the directions are small, the changes in the eigenvalue is large, which leads to unstable scale estimates. To further analyze, we first construct an angle matrix where each row and column represents an edge and each entry represents angle between the two directions present in the edges. Given the angle matrix, this theorem suggests that the conditioning of the angle matrix signifies the skewness of the triangle. Now, we extend the angle matrix for a general network where we assume that all edges in the original network are a part of at least one triple. Given this, we define the conditioning of a translation averaging problem as the condition number of the angle matrix. Given the extended angle matrix, this theorem suggests that it is well conditioned if the minimum angle in all the triangles are sufficiently large. But this theorem does not assume parallel rigidity of the network which is required for uniqueness of the solution. So we construct the triplet network where each node represents a triplet and each edge represents a common edge between the triplets in the original network. Given the setup, the original network and its corresponding triplet network, the maximum parallel rigid component can be determined by the edges in the original network contributing to the largest connected component of the triplet network. Based on these theorems, we provide an efficient algorithm which removes skewed triangles and also ensures that the network is parallel rigid. Please refer to the paper for more details on the algorithm. We first analyze the real data before presenting the results. Here we provide a reference reconstruction of Alamo dataset where we display the skewed triangles in blue and green. This shows that skewed triangles are present in real data, which is also confirmed by this scatter plots where the x-axis represents the minimum angle in degrees. It can be seen that there are many triplets where the minimum angle is close to zero. Here we also plot the maximum errors in the input directions with respect to ground truth. This reveals that there is no correlation between the skewed triangles and the presence of outlier. Now we provide results after applying our algorithm. It can be seen that the absolute translations improve significantly for both in terms of both 
B and RMS errors for outlier free data and also for real data where outliers are present. It can also be seen that the nodes which have been removed due to the, our filtering process have high errors. This suggests that these nodes have not been estimated properly. Moreover, after applying our filter, the number of 3D points triangulated increase and the number of iterations taken by bundle adjustment decrease significantly for most of the data sets. At last, we show some reconstructions where we can see that applying our filter leads to removal of false artifacts in the reconstructions. To conclude, this work deals with the sensitivity and translation averaging under input uncertainty. It studies sensitivity in estimating edge scales, suggesting skewed triangles are unstable, it defines the conditioning of the translation averaging problem, and provides a sufficient criterion to ensure it is a well conditioned problem. It proposes an efficient algorithm to remove skewed triangles from the network while ensuring parallel rigidity and demonstrates the effectiveness of such proposed filter with better absolute translations, more 3D points triangulated and faster convergence of bundle adjustment after applying the filter. Please refer to our project page for more information. Thank you.